What's up guys, Goro here, and welcome back to another episode of the Road to Glory mini-series for Team of the Season, where we are back with Premier League Team of the Season. This is going to be absolutely massive in terms of helping us build that best possible team we are working towards. We've got plenty of packs to open, plenty of SPCs to do, loads of new objectives that have came out, plus a few new Evos. So we're going to dive straight into things. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to leave the video, like, rating, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And with that being said, let's get into our first pack pull of a team of the season that we've already had so far. Yeah, the Deluxe Premier League Team of the Season packs, 50 items, 82 rated or higher, 6 guaranteed to be walkouts, and minimum 2 Premier League Team of the Season player picks. But it's a blue to start off with, Chilean. So it's going to be Endler. Endler could be with anybody. EA, please give me a mental card. Nope, it's Hanko. But we do get a brand new team of the season, which is absolutely perfect. Also, I love the fact that these walk out now as icons. I think the whole walkout design just looks so much better in the icon theme. Um, again, Hanko with that chemistry style plus, which we were talking about earlier. Not chemistry style plus, sorry. Chem plus, um, which will obviously mean that he gets a bit of bonus chemistry. And if the servers will let us, we'll see who else we get in this pack. Of course, we get Bruno Fernandes and Modric, who were the best two last week. But even still, this Hanko, really, really nice looking card. Good pace on him. Again, semi-expensive as well, so we're going to test him out at some point. And so there we are. Hanko is our first one of the brand new team that has been released for Friday. I am kind of excited to test this card out because he's half decent looking. I definitely think he's going to go in over Alexandria. Um, but whether we change a few things around, I'm not too sure. We've got Vega, who's an objective. He came out on Thursday. Uh, we've also got Adriana, or Adriana, and I think there was another SBC that came out. So we'll hop into the SBCs because, obviously, on top of the Premier League team, the women's team, and everything that came out, we had loads of new SBCs, which I am super excited to test out because they're going to be fun. So, obviously, Kai Havertz, we have. This card will be completed by the end of today's episode. It's a 90 rated team that I need, but because of how cheap the likes of an Ollie Watkins is, it's making it a lot easier to complete. We've also had Udol come out, or Udol. Uh, he is an 85 and an 86 rated. Same with Adriana, Adriana, I don't know how you pronounce the name. Um, but yeah, again, another card that we'll complete, but just to have in the club, nothing really too much. Julian Alvarez is one that I definitely want, and McKay, we're already two out of three, four. We only need an 84 rated team, um, which isn't too bad. So again, by the end of the episode, McCabe is gonna be done. I would like to have Julian Alvarez half complete um, for what he is. Again, fairly cheap to actually work towards. No team of the seasons or team of the weeks needed. The 90 rated is going to be expensive, so that might be the one that we've got to work towards, but that's fine. And on top of all of that, we've had another new objective. So on, as we're working on doing Vega, we're also going to work on doing John McGinn. Um, oh, sorry, not John McGinn. John McGinn was last week. Douglas Louise is this week, which again, looks a really nice card. Again, how long he stays in the team... I'm not really too sure. He could be one that we end up using the whole time purely because he's actually a really good holding midfielder. But I need to test him out, see what he's like. So once we've got the games done for him, I'll probably be in the next episode. We'll have him ready to complete, along with Vega as well. We'll give them a run out, see what's what. But there's loads of different things for us to do to claim sort of packs and SPCs and stuff. And then, on top of all of that stuff, we have a brand new Evo. So, the other day we were talking about possibly using um, Luis Diaz in this. Now, because Luis Diaz has a actual moments card, I don't think it's worth it. So, I'm probably going to look at doing the likes of maybe a Gordon or might do Diaby. Part of me wants to do Diaby just because he's been in my club for so long and I've wanted an upgrade on him like this. So, I think I might end up doing him because he's not really had a a half decent special card he's had the fire and ice but it's not very usable right now and um, but this is the most recent one that we've had we had premier league team of the season come in so it is purely just for premier league players um which i quite like the idea of the only thing that we've got right now is gabriel martinelli is the only one that really fits it for us would i do him 100 percent, especially for a free evo it's worth it but there's so many different cards that fit in from what i'm aware of um it's mainly forwards that fit into this anyway it's pretty much just um, him. I, there is Cody Gakpo, which I would be tempted to try and get done. But I don't know if we'd be able to do it because I've already evoed him a few times myself this year. Um, but there's definitely a few that do fit into this, obviously. Sterling fits in, which would be half-decent card as well. Gakpo fits in. Uh, Trossard's in there as well. Don't think any of these guys fit in because of the physicals. Anthony does fit in. And I'd be half-tempted by a card like that. 
Beto, again, would have been nice. Isaac does go in. So, again, if we, we get our hands on Isaac, that would probably be quite a fun card. So, again, this is something that we'll do in a few days' time because I'm not 100% sure on what I want to do. But, for now, what we do need to do is we need to go and open some packs to start working towards claiming either complete and have it or really we actually just need to go ahead and pack some of these brand new premier league team of the seasons so we'll start off with the premier league 45k pack it's not going to be a blue i didn't think these packs would pay out but hey ho it's worth saving them really isn't it so what we're going to do is we're going to go through show the highlights of all the packs and all the best packs and let's see what we can actually get. Right, we've got like the defender, midfielder, attacker packs. This is the time that I want something good from them. So, do you know what? We'll start off with defenders. And give me Van Dijk EA. Okay, that's not going to be anything good, is it? Uh, maybe the midfielders and attackers are going to be better than Kyle Walker. Right, into the midfielders one. Is this... Nope, that's definitely not blue. That's going to be a German right mid. That's Leroy Sané. Nope, that's Hooth. I think that's Hooth anyway. It is. I mean, it's better still isn't great so really we come down to the attackers now if we could see a blue in the attackers pack that would be wonderful um blue maybe no okay so maybe the specific position ones aren't ideal however nope that's gabriel martinelli who is expensive right now thanks to obviously that evo we were talking about but isn't really gonna help us too much you know what let's go and complete McCabe and there we are Martinelli is in the team we're going to use Sheaf um, because you need team of the seasons or team of the weeks in these now uh, obviously it's hidden behind the camera but I really like this from me like the fact that you can put these team of the seasons in there just makes it a little bit better we've got him tradable so obviously we're going to use him from there and this is our first women's league team of the season acquired which is going to be Kate McCabe looks a really fun card we're going to put her into left back for now and then we'll move Kai Havertz into a midfield role um, again until we get a much better left back or maybe a better midfielder to move Kai Havertz back that's fine this animation looks absolutely stunning I never saw it for team of the year so to see it for team of the season is actually quite nice so we're going to add her in and then we're going to continue on with the packs right so we are now on to some of the biggest packs that we've got 86 times twos 85 times twos threes and fours 86 times threes there's 84 times 20s 87 times fours 85 times sevens and tens guaranteed team of the season packs which we're going to open for premier league we have got some massive packs so we're going to start off with the 84s i think because they're probably the worst so we'll go with an 84 times 10 if we can see our first walkout that'd be great uh, in terms of a blue it's not going to be going to be an english center back from man city it's really disappointing getting an 85 there and then we'll do the only other 84 pack which is the 84 times 20 pack and it's going to be blue come on EA, give us somebody good english right back that's Lucy Bronze, but I think it's an actual team of the season. It is going to be EA, please. Virgil van Dijk, Salah, and I'm happy. It is Banza. Not quite what we needed, to be honest with you. But it's something. It is another team of the season, and we will absolutely take it. It's another one that we can add to the counter in a minute. The packs gave out you know, some decent fodder, so we can do with another SPC with it. But Banza, he's like practically discard so we're going to use him in a lot of SBCs this week we're going to see him a lot this week do we use him probably not so then as we're opening packs because it is Friday night EA have released a brand new Premier League team of the season guaranteed pack and we're going to open it now we're only going to open one for the time being it does contain a team of the season we could see team season moments and the women's league and the mixed leagues we could see all of them but I want a huge Premier League team of the season. So, here we go. Premier League, team of the season, guarantee pack. EA, please give me a banger. I'll even take an Allison. It's going to start off as a team of the season. Uruguayan goalkeeper. Musilera is good because this is 92 rated or above. So, unless it's Ollie Watkins, which I would not want, anything else, please give me. It's going to be Allison. I'm all right with that. I will absolutely take that. Allison is massive for me. Not only is he a Liverpool goalkeeper, he's like just one of the best goalkeepers you can use in the game. And it's a team of the season goalkeeper, which I really, really need. So, Allison is absolutely fantastic. In behind, do we see anything else? Obviously, two team of the seasons already is good. It is going to take a while to load, though, which is a little bit of a pain. So, we'll come back once it's actually loaded. Hopefully soon. So, it kicked me out. 
So the question is, what do we actually get in behind? There's also going to be Gabriel, which is absolutely huge. He looks absolutely fantastic. Zelm is in there as well. That is massive. Although the pack's broken. So we might have more team of the seasons. So when we go back into it, I'm hoping Allison will appear here. Oh, we get McAllister as well. Let's go. That's insane. Oh, that is massive. We also get a Stupanan Hernandez in there as well. That is an absolutely massive pack in terms of Team of the Seasons. Let's go. And so there we have it. Here are all of the special cards we just got. We also got McAllister and Gabriel who are just behind me. Or Gabriel. I, do you know what? I'm honestly super excited to test some of these out. So in terms of the team... This is absolutely massive in terms of upgrades. We're going to start off with putting Allison in goal. Now, obviously, Musiala, uh, Musiala, Musilera is quite nice. But he's not really going to do too much for me. Zelem looks like she could be a really good midfielder. And I also have a feeling that McAllister has to go into this team. Gabrielle definitely is going in. And I do want to try out a stupid hand. So, with that, I don't know how this is actually going to work. We're going to have to take off some of the live team of the seasons. Now, these cards aren't amazing. And considering this is building the best possible team, we really only need to use the best possible cards. So, it will mean that Gabriel goes back in. I don't think Hernandez or Banza actually goes anywhere near this team, which is a bit of a shame. But, hey-ho, it is what it is. So, I think we're going to put McCabe in at left mid to give her a bit of a run out, maybe a little bit further forward. Gabriel's definitely going in over... Otamendi, and purely because, who is it? Hanko. Yeah, Hanko gets basically full chemistry. So, I think he makes more sense to have in there. I do think McAllister needs to go into the team. And I'm very tempted to put him in over John McGinn. I feel like that's probably the one that we'd actually go for. Now, in terms of making this team work, I actually have no idea how we're going to make this work. I don't actually think we can if we're going to use McCabe. So, we might have to put John McGinn back in. But, maybe we run... I mean, maybe Soberslai doesn't fit the team anymore. As it stands, you know, this would be how the team works. I'd be very tempted to... I, I really want to test out this um, Zalem card. The only other thing I can think of doing is playing Kai Havert as a striker, which is going to be crazy. So, what I'm going to try and do is... I think this is the team that we're going to end up running with in terms of just actual gameplay. We're not going to do any gameplay this episode. It will be in next episode. We're going to go through a few... Rival games, I'm not really too sure what we're going to end up playing, but we do need to complete Kai Havertz. So let's go see if we can do it. And so here we go, the final team in Kai Havertz. We're going to get rid of the prints I already had. Ollie Watkins, I've just picked up. Now, yes, he's 73k, but it's pretty cheap. We've spent another 25k on Courtois. So we spent 100k to get all of this done. But for me, it's 100k worth doing. There's a few cards that we don't really need in the club anymore. And that's the whole point of this series. For me, it's showing how I'm running my account. Not necessarily how to efficiently run an account, but it's showing you how I'm planning and playing and doing stuff with my account. Now, I'm super excited this week because testing out Kai Havertz is going to be great. We're going to get Judeline Alvarez complete as quick as we can as well, which is going to be even better. And... We should have 16 win rewards yet again for the Premier League. Plus, we'll have the new division rival rewards. Plus, we're going to have all these other different things, which I am honestly super, super excited about. We've got all these guaranteed packs still in the club, which I'm really wanting to get my hands on. So, we might go and open one just to finish things off. But there we go. Kai Havertz is complete. And it will mean that we are going to put him in to the striker role. Now, as I say, do I think this is clever? Probably not, in all honesty. Kai Vert isn't going to be a great striker. And there's not really an out-and-out -out striker in this team. But maybe by the time we get into gameplay in the next episode, we might actually have somebody else to use. And we might have worked out how to actually use this team. So, to finish things off, we're going to open one of the guaranteed packs. No, we're not going to open one of the guaranteed packs. Because I have far too many duplicates to deal with. So, I'm going to go and do some SPCs. Get a bit more of Alvarez complete. Let me know down below who has been your best pack pull so far over team of the season in the Premier League. And for now, that is where we're going to leave it for the best team in team of the season. I'm going to leave it there. I'm out. Peace.